I'm not sure if you know how to get your corner radius right, or even if you know what that means, but if you have some doubts, keep watching. So corner radius describes how rounded the corners of a rectangle or a square are. Probably you know that, maybe you don't know what radi means, it's just the plural for radius. And I'm going to explain exactly what is getting it right and getting it wrong when you're designing, especially for interface design and icons and stuff like that. So we have here this square. I'm going to put it to the side there. And I'm going to bring this transform panel here so you see it better. And what we have in here is a square, 800 pixels width and height. And if we can here to the contextual menu while having the move tool active and we have it selected, we're going to see we have here the absolute sizes for the corner. You may have it unchecked and see a percentage, but the moment you check the absolute sizes, you're going to see the same in pixels. So please check it because we want to work with pixels at the moment. And you can see your corner radius is set to 200. 50 pixels, right? So now what I'm going to do is command C, command V. I duplicate, you can see it here, this shape, and I'm going to make it smaller inwards. For that, I press and hold command shift and move it inwards like so. Okay. Let's just leave it there. I'm going to give it another color. So everything is much more clear. Now, because I didn't make it too small, you cannot really see how wrong this is when we're talking about getting your corner radius right. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it will be more obvious. Yeah, something like that. And what you can see in here is that the flow is not exactly what it should be. What I mean by this is that the distance between this edge and this edge is the same in every side. But when it comes to the corner radius, there's something going on that doesn't feel good, doesn't feel right. And that is because the corner radius is still 250 pixels, which is exactly what the original shape had. And that's not the way it should be when you're talking, getting your radius right, especially for creating icons and stuff like that, as I said. For all of you to understand exactly what I mean, I'm going to show you some examples of good and bad ready. So you see in here, I don't know what this uh, icon is for, and I don't care. I just care about what I said. There's something here that is wrong. Well, the radio, the radius is, is wrong, not something. It's the radio it is wrong. So you see it here. It's clear to see that is not right. Now I'm going to show you some good examples like this one. For example, you can see in here, even though we don't have an inner square, you can see all the angles for these icons inside, but for these buttons are following the flow. Another good example is this one here, where you can see these corners, even though they cut it here to create this uh, scale icon, you can see in here, this is perfect. It goes always respecting the same distance between edges in inner and outer. This is another good example where you can see everything feels so right inside, outside. And this is another one. This is my own. <laughs> it's an icon I did some time ago. And you can see here that the flow is what it should be. Now I'm going to show you how to get it right and not get what we saw in the first example. So it's pretty easy. Let's copy this shape. Let's put it on the side so we can see the difference at the end. And what I'm going to be doing is calculating. First off, I'm going to put the ruler to zero here. Okay, we have the zero on the top edge. Okay, I'm going to zoom in like so. I take this away. And now I'm going to put the ruler here. And you can see it's here. I'm going to zoom in a bit more so I can really see what it is. It's about 50. It's not exactly 50, but we're going to take 50 as our number. It will work anyways. So what we're going to be doing now, it's super simple maths. We have our original shape with the 250 pixel corner radius. So this is going to be our first number, 250. And the second one is going to be what we have in here, 
which was 50. And we have to make a subtraction. So 250 minus 50, that's an easy one, it's 200. So let's select this one in here, which is the one we want to change the corner radius to. And instead of 250, we are going to make it 200 pixels. And we're going to click enter. And now you see how the flow is just perfect. So pretty easy. Basically, you need to know what is the distance between the two top edges or the side edges, doesn't matter, or bottom, doesn't really matter. So you have this distance here and then you get the initial corner radius and make the subtraction of the corner radius minus the distance between the edges. And that was the quick tip. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.